Okay, lesson 10, we're wrapping it up today and we're gonna go where we left off. Um, you had a video, you took notes and in the video at the tail end of it, I left you with coming up with the last statement in this particular proof in number one. We had gone through statement one, two and three, given the picture off to the side. And so what we found was in this picture, we found that there is a relationship between these three angles. We were given that AB is parallel to CD, this line right here, was parallel to CD, and BC was parallel to DE. Well, that ended up being our first statement. Our first statement in review is always gonna be the given. So we combined those two statements and said, for the reason, well, it's given. Did it want us to prove that angle ABC, so again, it wanted us to prove that angle ABC is congruent to angle CDE. So we're trying to prove these two angles are congruent. And we left off with the given statement number two, ABC was congruent to angle DCB and the reason for that was alternate interior angles when you have a transversal that cuts two parallel lines. We also said that at the same time that this angle was congruent in statement three to this angle and that's indicated in again these two statements and so I left you with come up with the last statement. Well, the last statement's going to always be what you're trying to prove. And so the last statement should read, check your own work. It should read angle ABC is equal to angle CDE. And the reason is what's called the transitive property, sometimes confused with substitution. So we put this new property that we talked about, the transitive property, which again is very similar to the substitution property. So that closes out number one. And today on this short video, we're going to go through, I asked you to consider two and three. And so we're going to show the solutions to two and three. And here we go. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to complete the proof and you can check your answers for two and three. First of all, I would need to label C. And then, of course, we write statements. And of course, our reasons. And statement one is always going to be whatever is given to you. And the reason, of course, that's given. Statement number two. I noticed that uh, B is equal to C. And the reason why B is equal to C, B is equal to C, is because these lines were given as parallel lines. Those lines were given as parallel lines. So we can write B is equal to C, angle B is equal to angle C, alternate interior angles. Three. So the third statement, pretty straightforward. The third statement is C plus D is equal to 180. C plus D is equal to 180. The reason, same side, interior angles equal to 180. When you have parallel lines, and these parallel lines are talking about, in this case, these parallel lines cut by a transversal, the same side angles add up to 180. And then finally, by the substitution property, number four, we're trying to prove B plus D is equal to 180. Well, since B and C are equal, 
we now can substitute right in here for C. Angle B plus angle D is equal to 180. And this, the reason is simply just write substitution. So that concludes the proof for number two. Okay, pause the video, make sure you get it down. And now we're gonna go to the third one I had you do um, from last week's notes. Okay, so on this one, so on this one, again, it's gonna be a short, straightforward proof, but you're going to need to construct, you're going to need to construct and add a few things. Remember, this lesson was about constructing to help us um, do some proofs. Um, in this case, in the figure to the right, prove that D, D is equal to, right here, D is equal to A plus B plus C. Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to construct a line going straight through. We have to construct that line. And so label, and we're going to label this as angle Z. Just we randomly pick a letter. It doesn't really matter. That's angle Z. And so we begin by saying, well, we know that C equals B plus a Z, rather, equals B plus C. So where's that at? Hmm. Oh, okay, that's right. Because these two angles in a triangle... We start by saying Z and again, there's really no given here, just the diagram. So we go right to proving Z is equal to B plus C and the reason the reason is because the exterior angle of a triangle, exterior angle is equal to the remote interior angles. So I'm going to abbreviate here. Number two. So now we know that this angle here is equal to these two. And then we can also say that angle D Angle D, right here, well, if you think of this triangle here, angle D is equal to angle Z plus A. For the same reason. For the same exact reason. Again, exterior angle is equal to the remote interior angles, opposite of those angles. And so finally, our last statement is simply, you can see here, by substitution, we can say that D E is equal to, because we already said these two things right here, and we can just substitute back in here to get A plus B plus C, and the reason is substitution. So that concludes the two proofs on top of the first one you were supposed to finish. And I'm going to have some more practice for you today working on proofs. That'll do.